Shalom little Hebrews. I pray the background noise is not too loud for you, but this video is to help you to stay updated on what is current, despite the other lessons we learn in class. So, I'm here to inform you of a holiday that will be celebrated by many people this weekend. By mommies and daddies, by uncles and aunts, by cousins and friends, but not by servants of Yah. So come on this journey with me and let's see why. Memorial Day, originally called Decoration Day, is a day to celebrate or honor the dead. There is evidence that organized women's groups in the South were decorating graves before the end of the Civil War. A hymn or song published in 1867 is called Kneel Where Our Loves Are Sleeping by Nella L. Sweet and carried the dedication to the ladies of the South who are decorating the graves of the Confederate dead. This little Hebrews can be found at Duke University's Historic American Sheet Music. Some say the holiday is to honor our coming together in the time of need. But little Hebrews, the truth is that this day is to come together to honor or to worship the dead. But what if Big Sister Celia don't know what she's talking about? Let us prove it. Memorial Day was officially proclaimed on May 5th, 1867, by General John Logan, National Commander of the Grand Army of the Republic, and was first observed on May 30th, 1868, when flowers were placed on the graves of Union and Confederate soldiers at Arlington National Cemetery. Now, little Hebrews, when someone die in this society, it's common practice for them to be given flowers. Flowers are beautiful. They smell good, they look good, and they make us feel good. Flowers, brothers and sisters, are meant to be smelled and appreciated by people who are living. When your dad gives your mom flowers or your sister is given flowers, it's to make them feel good and appreciated. But the dead, who are no longer living, who can neither feel, taste, or smell, the beauty of Yah's creation is wasted on eyes that cannot see. Why then do we give them flowers? Giving flowers to the dead, little Hebrews, is giving worship over to the dead. To worship means to give reverence or respect. When family members die, living family members are often heard saying, I'm going to pay my respects to the dead. This literally translates into, I'm going to worship the dead. For there is no more lasting remembrance of the wise than the fool since in the days to come all is forgotten. And how does a wise man die? With the fool. For the event of the sons of men is also the event of beast. One event befalls them. As one dies, so dies the other. Indeed, they all have one breath. Man has no advantage over beast, for all is futile. All are going to one place, all came from the dust, and all return to the dust. The first state to officially recognize the holiday was New York in 1873. By 1890, it was recognized by all of the northern states. The South refused to acknowledge the day, honoring or worshiping their dead on separate days until after World War I, when the holiday was changed from honoring just those who died fighting in the Civil War to honoring those who died fighting in any war. It is now celebrated in almost every state on the last Monday in May. Another kind of Memorial Day is referred to as May Day. 
freed slaves or Hebrews who had been freed from chattel slavery knew of the union dead and they decided to honor or worship them. Together with teachers and missionaries, Hebrews and Charleston organized a May Day, a ceremony covered by the New York Tribune and other national newspapers. Years later, it came to be called First Decoration Day in the North. Interestingly enough, Yah calls us the Valley of Dry Bones. The hand of Yah was upon me, and took me out by the Spirit of Yah, and set me down in the midst of the valley, and it was filled with bones. And he made me pass among them, all around, and see, there were very many on the surface of the valley, and see, they were very dry. These bones, little Hebrews, belong to skeleton. The bones are skeleton. Our skeleton is made up of bones. When people die, their fleshly bodies go back into the dirt. When it does, the skin disintegrates. Now that's a big word for you itty bitty bruise, but it just means to break away or to crumble. So our skin and muscles and everything crumbles and after a long while there is nothing left but bone. This valley Yah took Ezekiel to was filled with the bones of those who have died and who have been dead a long time because there is nothing left but bone. These bones are the children of Israel. That's us, little Hebrews. And you know how your legs are very dry after a shower? Because you waited too long to put on some lotion and it's real ashy? Our bones are very dry because we have been spiritually dead for a long time. Getting back to May Day, Hebrews still celebrate that today. They go to the cemetery and they eat and they drink and they hang out with family and friends. But why do they go to the cemetery? Why do they go to the graves? Because a man who strays from the way of understanding rests in the assembly of the dead. And finally, concerning Memorial Day. In 1915, inspired by a poem in Flanders Fields, Monia Michael replied with her own poem, which begins, We cherish too the poppy red. Michael then conceived of an idea to wear red poppies on Memorial Day in honor of those who died serving the nation during war. She was the first to wear one and sold poppies to her friends and co-workers with the money going to benefit servicemen in need. Now a poppy boys and girls is a kind of flower. Initially or at first they gave flowers to the dead and then people began to wear poppies or flowers on their person to honor the dead. Those who do not know or follow the ways of Yah are spiritually dead because if they don't change their ways, they will die spiritually. And that is that means that they won't make the kingdom, boys and girls. But what should we do about Memorial Day? As Yahoshua told us, let the dead bury their own dead, but you go and announce the kingdom of Yah. Shabbat Shalom and may Yah bless.